Now we're going to talk about how to do a two-handed tie. There are two key hand maneuvers that you should uh, learn to do this. One is the, the pistol position. The other is the perfect sign. So these are the two positions, the pistol and the perfect sign. So I'm going to take this large thread to show you how we go about this process. What you want to do is you want to set up your throw. What you're going to do is the hand that is doing the suturing, the hand that's doing most of the work tying the, the, the knots, that hand should have the strand. You want to cross your strand. That strand should be distal to you. Okay, so now we're set up. So this is the purple strand in this case. This is distal to you. That's the one that's going to be doing most of the work in the tying. To set up, we've got ourselves crossed. Then you get your pistol position. You hook your barrels. And then with the third through fourth, fifth digits, you're holding the strands. So I'm in pistol position. I've hooked my barrels. I'm ready to go. What you want to do then is you want to make a cross with the strands. So you take the hand that's going to be doing the suturing, in this case is my dominant hand, which is my right hand, I bring it to the midline, and then I make a cross over that strand with my non-dominant hand, which is the, the white in this case, then I make a perfect sign. I push the perfect sign through. Now don't do a perfect sign with the pads of the finger, do it with the tips of the finger. I push it through, I hand off the white strand, let go. Push it back through, grasp it, and now I've thrown my first for the knot. Now I bring it down, and we're tied. So you hook with your thumb, and you make the cross again with the white strand or the non-dominant strand. And as you can see here, there's a cross here in the loop. It's very important. I'm pointing this out because you have to cross your hands to undo this and make a square knot have it lie flat like it is. Make your perfect sign, push it through, pass it off, push it back through, grasp it with the non-dominant hand, and now if I don't cross my hands, you can see it's not going to lie flat. So you have to cross your hands and it lies flat. This sets yourself up then for the next throw because you do your pistol, make your cross, perfect sign, Push it through, hand it off, push it through and bring it down flat. If I cross over, it's not going to be flat. Bring it down flat. Hook with my thumb to the midline. Make your cross, perfect sign, push it through, pass, cross your hands over. Pistol, perfect sign, push it through and down. Now I'm going to do several of these. And as you can see, I'm creating nice flat square knots and they're lining up with the colored strands you can see this well they're all lining up in a nice flat square manner you can see the white strands are all aligned the purple strands are all aligned these are flat square knots and that's how you do a two-handed tie now we're going to do a two-handed tie without tension using silk so I'm going to set myself up Remember, pistol position, perfect sign. Not the pads, the tips. Those are the key hand positions. I'm setting myself up. I'm going to use my right hand to do the throwing. So that strand crosses distal to me. I'm set up. Now I do my pistol position. Barrels hook the strands. And then I hold the end of the strands with my third through fifth digits. I bring up my pistol with my right hand, my dominant hand that's going to be doing the knots to the midline. I make a cross with the non-dominant hand. Perfect sign. Push that through. Pass off the other strand. Push it back through. And then I lie it down flat or square. The next throw, hook with the thumb, bring it to midline. Make a cross, perfect sign, push it through, pass it off. Now, you can see where this is crossed here. So I have to cross my hands to make it lie flat or square. That sets myself up for the pistol grip. Cross, 
perfect sign, push it through, grasp it, push it back through, and then you lie it down flat. Hook with the thumb, cross, perfect sign, push it through, pass it, grasp it, cross your hands to make it lie flat. So I'm going to do several of these to demonstrate what we're doing. And these are lining up nice and square. By crossing your hands, you set yourself up for your next throw. And that's the benefit of doing that. And that's how you do a two-handed square knot.